What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Supreme, and you are now tuned in to The Real Rap News. In 2006, Diddy heard 19-year-old Cassie's song, Me and You, on MySpace. At the time, Cassie was dating Ryan Leslie, who was an upcoming music producer and writer. Ryan Leslie wrote and produced Cassie's song, Me and You. Diddy got in touch with Ryan Leslie through MySpace and told him to call him. When Ryan Leslie called Diddy, Ryan said Diddy made him an offer he couldn't refuse and wanted to sign Cassie to Bad Boy Records. As soon as Cassie signed the contract, Diddy stole Cassie from Ryan Leslie and he re-released Cassie's song Me and You under Bad Boy Records. He also ended the production deal he had with Ryan Leslie. Now, what do y'all think happened? Because after all that, Ryan Leslie got in front of a crowd and said this about the man who had just stole his girl. When you have a smoking hot product on your hands, people get excited about the product. People fall in love with the product. And Puffy fell in love with Cassie. And that's his girlfriend today. And Puffy fell in love with Cassie. And that's his girlfriend today. Now, before I play the video, who remembers when Ryan Leslie's laptop was stolen and some guy found the laptop in the garbage and when Ryan Leslie got the laptop back, all his music was deleted off the laptop? Well, it's being said that Ryan Leslie had tons of unreleased music with him and Cassie and was planning on releasing an album with him and Cassie while she was still signed to Bad Boy. I'm going to now play for y'all the 2006 meeting where Ryan Leslie brings his girlfriend Cassie to Bad Boy Records to take the deal that Diddy offered him. Hit the like button. So, so I wanted to get us all together so we could get this, um, um, everybody can hear from me how um, focused and excited I am about the project. I wanted, you know, Cassie to, um, um, everybody to meet Cassie. Y'all know that's Cassie. And um, hear the story. Directly from Mau Mau, then um, we can get down to some business about just so we can be on the same page of what the plan is um, as far as with Tommy's concerned, and um, from, from where we're concerned as also a label and one of Atlantic. So, so everybody's on the same page. Um, I think the best thing to do is to um, kind of give an overview or history of, um, of how we, we, we came to the project. Um, can't know where we're going us, we know where we came from. Um, Ryan is a producer that I've been working with um, for the last two years. That was brought to me by Ed Woods, who um, did Ryan assigned to their label and also um, as a producer and has done some stuff for the label. And somebody is like one of my go to people, um, a new actor, just need a record right away. And somebody that can go in the trenches, musical genius. You know, New Age, Teddy Riley, Dr. Gray, Quincy Jones, Pharrell. Um, but to his level, in his own way. But he had something else that was very important that attracted me to his situation, which was um, he had, a, he had a, um, a new global outlook. Um, he, his, his, he had a record that he didn't put out here, and he went and started going over to Europe and doing shows and starting to build a following over in Europe. And I, I took notice to that because I, don't, I didn't really see a lot of artists that would have the ingenuity to do that. So when he was doing that, I heard he also had a young lady that was with him named Cassie that had a record out. And I start, started hearing this record that was haunting me in the clubs. And it was, you know, it, it was um, Cassie's record, me and you. And, um, and it, was, it was, I would hear it everywhere I was at. And so I kept asking, Who, what record is that? And Gwen told me that it was Ryan's act, it was Cassie. Um, when I saw her and I met her and I saw this DVD on her, hopefully we can play that. That's what kind of made me like really fall in love with the project because I saw something more than just records. I saw something that there was a personality there. It was something that you know the whole world could fall in love with. Now, do y'all think Diddy was threatening Ryan Leslie and had him scared? And also, Diddy was threatening Cassie to never go back to Ryan Leslie? Did Diddy have something to do with Ryan Leslie's missing laptop? Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It's your man Supreme and you were just now tuned in to the real rap news.